and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Poppy Dawn Spiders. Uh, that's right, we haven't actually, I've never played Dawn Speaker Spiders with Poppy. Pretty cool looking donation deck that we have from a viewer. We got Swiftwing Flight in here also, which could be really cool because, so like if we level up Elise, which, you know, hopefully we do, we're playing like a good amount of spiders and spiderlings and stuff. And so if we level up Elise and then also have Swiftwing Flight, that could be super cool how um, Swiftwing Flight can give your other challenging allies plus one plus one. Uh, and then you know, like all your spiders have challenger. So that could be pretty cool. We'll also have like the Dawn Speakers growing our allies with the plus one plus one. We're gonna have the Poppy attacking, growing our allies with the plus one plus one. Um, so lots of ways to grow our little spiders. Triple Golden Ages, because that card's just broken with Poppy. And that's what the deck's all about. We'll even be able to use Glimpse Beyond or Single Combat to help kill our own allies so that we can get this round end ability to happen with the Dawn Speakers. Um, and that's that's about it. All right, so it's Poppy, it's Elise, it's Spiders. It looks cool. Let's go ahead and try it out. We're calling it Poppy and Dawn Spiders. We're gonna go play five games in ranked. Dawn Spiders is fun to say. Dawn Spiders. That sounds pretty cool. All right, we're gonna keep one Fleet Feather Tracker, send the rest back, because we do want the power of our deck. We do want our champions. Um, you know, I don't think we're gonna win the game if we just have only one ones and two ones. We're gonna need our champions, we need our Dawn Speakers, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Pop goes the Dawn Spiders. All right, fearsome spider. To go along with Challenger Bird. We'll trade our 2 1 for a 3 1. I do not break rules, I bend them slightly. Uh, I guess we pass. Come close. I don't. I don't want them to be able to challenge. All right, we have Rangers Resolve for protection. Please don't kill that. Pass, pass. All right, Rain of Surrender. Yeah, so you know they could have the one mana plus two plus one. All right, cool. GG's. Uh oh, darkness control. We need our champions, but if we find like a poppy, of course the rally with the poppy is pretty awesome. I could see sending back the hapless aristocrat, thinking that it just won't, cool, found a poppy, that it just won't really have that big of an impact. But I'll keep it. But I could see the argument of mulliganing that card. Pass, 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 pass. No, they have the Catalyzer. Ah, oh, their deck is so much better whenever they have Catalyzer. That's just such an important card for them. Uh, sure, I guess. <sighs> Man. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. Come, come. It's showtime. So four, three, two, two. Yeah. Hopeless, honestly. Mm. All right, Bandle City's pretty good. It's pretty good. I will 
will shape death as easily as clay. I mean, I guess it's better than... I think that's better than, like, that 3-2 just getting burned by the darkness. Getting 2 damage on that thing. Life is cyclical. Darkness ends. Yeah, like I could play Elise, Darkness kills it. I could play Dawn Speakers, Darkness kills it. All right, I think we go Elise then Dawn Speakers. I didn't exactly expect that to work. Today we turn the tide of I didn't I didn't exactly expect that to work to kill kill one of those. We got a donation dunk! Demi G, Sentinel Seekers. Says a lot a lot of fun I've had with this deck. Keynotes while about the Senna for the Senna champion. I don't have the champ, sadly. Okay, yeah, I could do that. Alright, Sentinel Seekers. Thank you, Demi G. This definitely feels like they want to uh, ruination, right? Like that's that's what it feels like, right? They're trying to ruination. Let's roll. No arguments here. That's a first. Or just Decinata. I guess that works too. Deal five to all enemies for zero mana. I think that's that's cool. So they just get ruination plus they get to seven six. That is not reasonable at all. Be strong. These are dark times. Hey, boss. That's right. No laughs on the clock. <laughs> Double twisted catalyzer makes darkness control incredibly difficult to beat. Good game. So we are one and one. If they have Catalyzer, it's 50-50. If they have two Catalyzer, we lose. That's kind of how it's been for me. It's like zero Catalyzer, I usually win. One Catalyzer, 50-50. Two Catalyzer, I usually lose. Sivir Akshan. We'll keep Poppy, Dawn Speakers. Those are the names of the cards we're playing. Like name of the deck. Sun's beneath me and winds behind me. So I think I'll I could do like that normal challenge like we had been doing, but I think I'm actually just going to wait because we want things to die after Dawn Speakers. Must be nice living off stolen coin. So that's good that you know now they don't have don't get to just challenge that spiderling immediately. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. That part's good. Yeah, I didn't play around siphoning strike. I even thought about that. Being the Freljord deck, that's all they care about is siphoning strike. Hmm. I guess I should have. Scum. 
My hope, of course, was to attack with that, be able to pump up the Fleet Feather Tracker, make it a 3-2 challenger. To know good from bad. But... Lady Elise, where are you? In and out. Really, Rangers Resolve? I need you before. Convictions. Our allies did not fall in vain. Lady Elise, please take me home. Hush, my sweet. It'll be over soon. Gotta find a gift for Renekton! Right, Arda? Okay, so we need this other Dawn Speaker so that both Dawn Speakers can help buff up the other. Help me out, Dawn Speakers. Gonna need a double Dawn Speakers. Still gonna be really tough to beat the action that got Siphoning Striked, but. We shall try. We shall try. This is justice. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. I think it's pretty big. Do not forget. Our ancestors are watching. Nice. Got another Dawn Speakers. Awesome. By the strength of our convictions. All right, let's grow. Our allies did not fall in vain. We strike. <laughs> Does give, the, does give them the little 1-1. One, one. They can kill with action and go, go along their Warlord's Horde, but at least that's, you know, that's something dying for the Dawn Speakers. So that's good. Oh, come now. I will run you over. Hug it out. Quit struggling. Out of my way. All right, we'll go ahead and just sacrifice the Elise. Oh, I guess I could have gone tough. Oh, I should have done the tough first. I could have maybe had to stay alive that, but... Ooh, Golden Ages. That'll be for later. Yeah, I didn't want it to strike. And again, get more level up. They've had four landmarks get destroyed? Man, they are living the life. We don't have any removal in here, do we? Like, I can't kill this action ever, right? I follow you anywhere. I know just yeah, I didn't realize my Elise had 7 health, to be honest. Um, <laughs> sometimes it's the problem with having, like, my camera's, like, right here, you know, and, and I, I just didn't realize I had 7 health. Oh, yeah, we have a single combat. Okay. So we do have one copy of single combat. Villains beware. Alright, well, force them to use another one of the spells. I wonder when I should use this Golden Ages. I kind of don't feel like it's yet. Like, I kind of feel like we just keep on growing with Dawn Speakers. I don't feel like this is the best time to attack. Think I should Golden Ages?
But, like, next round, all these things are going to have, like, plus two, plus two. And then this thing is going to have minus two, minus one. I'm a woman of principle. Mine is care and get paid. All that glitters is mine. Our allies did not fall in vain. Oh man, these crawling sensations are unfortunately the worst cards for us to be drawn. So if we sit sitting back's gonna be pretty rough going into Sivir, Overwhelm, Quick Attack, Spell Shield for everything. So we're gonna send them all in there. We need some stuff to die anyway, so this is basically just the Elise dying, right? Because the Elise and the Spiderling. To the tipsy so I think it's a 10-5 now. I'd you of course you would. This is really difficult of deciding exactly when to pull the trigger on this Golden Ages. Because I do kind of like being able to block with it. Well... Gonna make life worse. So I barrier this. Okay, so let's say I barrier this attacking with everything. They block Sivir block six one, eight eight action blocks the three three, the two three blocks the ten three, they take seven, ten, fifteen. Okay, so they can't really make those blocks. They, but oh, they can block. So this can block seven three. This can block six one. This blocks ten three, and they take three six eleven. I don't know. That's like not. I mean, yeah, I go. You know, you say I have to go for it. Well, the quote unquote go for it only does. 11 damage to them and kills three really good cards. And it's not like we're any closer to killing them. Now that they played... Okay, so obviously them having a Herald, bad for me, but being able to play this with a barrier, that's good for me. Okay, so they just don't attack. Obviously that trades is just Herald. But that's okay with me. We want something to die for Dawn Speakers. This would also be leveling up Elise. I don't think they want either of those things. It's a living. Our word is our bond. <sighs> yeah, I think we need to level up Elise. I'm trying to, you know, that's what I was trying to decide. Like, how much do we want to level up Elise or not? We want to. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. Our allies did not fall in vain. Smooth as silk. Okay. What we got? Can't kill action. You can kill that. Is this doing 13 damage to them? I'm killing Sivir. Let's talk about your attack. I've got meat bigger than you. Oh, right, that thing can block fearsome. I guess I should have had Elise challenge that. I don't know why I was thinking they could have blocked Fearsome. Okay, never mind. We don't get kills ever. Dang, one more rally. If we would have just drawn, drawn one more rally, we would have had it, but... 
Good hand opponent, double siphoning strike, double herald, and obviously action on round two, or round three, or whenever they played it. Action right away, they got all these warlord hordes. They got us. So, probably could have done a better job challenging than what I did. We can handle 25 overwhelm. That was a good game, though. That was a good close game. Both made a lot of decisions. Good game. So I was, I was just, yeah, I was, I was impressed that we could stay alive that long against action siphoning strike. That such a hard combination to to beat. But we just had too many crawling sensations at the end. If one crawling sensation was a rally, we win. Let's just send it all back. Let's look for our, our powerful cards. Our two champions, Dawn Speakers. It's like those cards weren't bad that I mulliganed, but also just don't necessarily need them. I imagine this is another Rockhopper deck, so I imagine that you know having Vile Feast would have been nice against Rockhopper. But it looks like we did draw Vile Feast for Rockhopper. Alright, cool. I like getting that 5 damage in. Looking good, looking good. This was looking really good just a little bit ago. Not so good anymore. Wow, wow, all this walking. Oh, would you look at this place? And the 1-1 one, one spider is something that we don't mind dying, where, you know, we want things to die for Dawn Speakers. By the strength of our convictions! Be strong! These are dark times. Okay, so we're going to make this challenge, try to trade those two, have something die, then play like Swiftwing Flight and Elise afterwards. Make us everywhere. So three, four, five. I don't know exactly why I'm taking Blinding Assault, but just kind of taking it because it costs two mana, I suppose. I don't know exactly what my plan is for that card. I don't really have a plan for that card. Alright, so we still have one thing dying for Dawn Speakers. 
And we have a really good open attack. Great open attack. Our allies did not fall in vain. wills it. And there we go. Awesome. All right, Dawn Speakers with some challengers and some spiders. That's Dawn Spiders. So soon, the little ones will Got him. You. Talia Ziggs. So another landmark deck. Expect them to be a little bit more aggressive than our last opponent. We'll get rid of that. Uh, Golden Ages. I don't know. I mean, I guess this could be a decent crawling sensation. Yeah, I could. I could honestly see just keeping all of this, actually. If they can't kill the Elise right away. Like, you know, rally spiders. I think that's our. That's our goal right here, rally spiders. Thanks, Apple's Aristocrat. Thanks for not showing up last round when I would have cast you. Apples for scratch keep showing up a little late. <laughs> Wanna see what it does? You dare. Remember the fallen. If it's made of sand, I can arise it. Nest. So that's three spiders. Level up Elise. No, I haven't seen any news on the next expansion of what's coming out. Uh, I I think it's coming out like next week, though, I think. So maybe we'll get some news on it like next Tuesday. Usually like Tuesdays are the news drop on the news page. That's the news page. So I'm guessing next Tuesday we will learn more about it. Uh, that thing's really large. Four, six. Don't really have anything to do. Relax your knees. Throw another rock. Surprised I didn't challenge this vulnerable spiderling. Probably just having this die is, you know, then I still don't have any room. I want that thing to die. Okay. We'll go ahead and kill it. So I can open attack and try to kill them, have exact lethal, but if they have any kind of burst speed, destroy landmark, then we're in trouble because then we're not actually killing the Talia. But you know, I can do this attack right here. Right, and then that's exact lethal. But if they just have like a pokey stick or anything, like the other option is like Frenzied Skitter. Give these things plus two, plus one, plus two, plus, or plus one, plus zero. I think we probably frenzied skitter. I'm just get rid of the stupid half of search crap. I didn't need to play in the first place. 
matches. Let her in! Another day, another explosion! Alright, so by not open attacking. So it's still lethal, but now we'd kill the Talia also if they can stay alive. If they have three mana plus four plus two, I guess they'd stay alive and we don't kill the Talia. That's disappointing. Let's go down to two. So if they have Magus, I guess we're dead, right? So open attack wouldn't work either. Rally. So many crawling sensations. Now we just have to wait. That's a good sign. That's not Magus. That's good. That's good. Best case scenario for us here, they attack with both. We can go to one. Like this does two, this does two. Oh, each landmark that gets destroyed does two. Oh. I can't play anything because we take two. I think just three to us. Yes, yeah, so I guess it's just eggs, then this thing attacks and does two. Like usual, dead with a million crawling sensations in hand. Okay, so there's some definitely some good stuff with our deck, but we saw that just like going wide, like our, our board was always full. And so having like these crawling sensations that just put more little one ones in play um, wasn't really that great for us because our board was just always full. I could see crawling sensation maybe being a little better than hapless aristocrat, but I think that you kind of only have to play like one of these and not the other. And basically, we just needed just a couple of spells to kind of finish off those games, right? Because all we had were units, and we'd have like a full board of units, but we just didn't have like that spell to help us um, get through that extra damage. And so the, the two things that I would really prefer to play would either be, uh, I guess, three things. Would it be like Sharp Sight, help protect like the Poppy attacking or, or anything, or, you know, just Sharp Sight's just ridiculous in combat and everything. Um, single combat, of course, you know, help, helping our units trade with some of their units, or... I guess even more rallies, but I, I kind of feel like three rallies is enough, but you could play Relentless Pursuit, but I, I even like Repost, Repost would be awesome. I kind of th feel like that's, um, yeah, because Repost lets our small things block larger things. I kind of feel like that's what we need is just some kind of other combat trick, you know, Repost, um, back to a single combat sharp sight, and all of those probably being just sharp sight. Sharp sight is just an absurd card. And so I, I think that's what I kind of recommend is just playing, playing some of those. So I can see going like two and one and then getting sharp sights or um, it wouldn't be nice having another single combat. Kind of don't need the glimpse beyonds as much with having redeemer. Yeah, like the glimpse beyonds keep keep like allow us to kill something, but so do single combats. You know, being able to single combat in action and things like that, being able to survive a siphoning strike. All that kind of stuff like we just missed these kind of cards so i would probably recommend going with something like this maybe one glimpse beyond two single combat three sharp sight and then you know still have like one crawling sensation even though that is elise's champion spell but have like one crawling sensation two hapless aristocrats because you saw a lot of games i was still mulliganing hapless aristocrat on one if we weren't playing against an aggro deck it's just a very low 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 impact card all right but there we go that's poppy dawn spiders got to do some cool dawn speaker stuff uh, got to do Pompey with spiders, you know, got to do some cool stuff here. And I think it was close. Like we, like the games that we were losing were pretty close games that we just couldn't quite finish out our opponent that would get them really low. Um, you know, we'd get them down to one, two, three life, you know, that kind of stuff, but couldn't quite finish them out. Just didn't have that other spell to help us, you know, didn't have that sharp sight to save the Poppy or, you know, anything like that. So let's try that out next time. Um, so those y'all watching later on YouTube, try this list out. Let me know how it goes. Let me know how you like sharp sights and stuff like that, or if you're a big fan of the crawling sensations, you know, you feel free to uh, say that as well. But I think that we had enough bodies. I think that we just need some little bit extra punch instead of bodies. Uh, anyway, that's gonna be it for Poppy Dawn Spiders. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.